celebrating National Science Day in St. Peter's International School. This is my project, Potato Battery. The acids in the potato react to the metals like zinc and copper which creates an energy called chemical energy. This chemical energy converts into electric energy which powers this small LED. Now let me demonstrate. Thank you. Happy National Science Day. My name is Ryan. I am from grade 2. Combining vinegar and baking soda, we can make a balloon blow up. Hi, I am Anmita from grade 4, St. Peter's International School. Today, my topic is the pr printer. Now, I am going to say you how it works. It is so important for the output input. This prints the output on the device. Now, I will show you how it works. First, we should remove the cap. Then, we should join these both wires. Then, keep this here and we'll start printing. Now, this prints a little of China words.
light. The solar observes energy from the sunlight and produces the energy to the battery. The battery produces energy to the light and the light will start glowing. The solar panel absorbs energy from the morning and it glows in the night time. I'm in 5th standard and today here are my science exhibits that I've been working on. This right here is a hologram projector. It may not seem like much but actually it is a hologram projector if you look closely. Now images will pop up at each corner which will reflect then in the plastic which will go back to our eyes. Now here's a little teaser of how it works. Actually, most holograms are used for museums to make it more interesting of how it works. It basically works like a device taking a selfie. For example, each little light of particle shines and reflects back to us, which captures our face. Similar to how this hologram works, the light is reflected back to our eyes. Isn't that just amazing? Well, now it's time to close this and it's for a different version of how my friend made a periscope. This is my version of a periscope. As you can see here, how basically how it works, two mirrors are placed at a 45 degrees angle on each side. And most periscopes are just like are used for helping you see a top. Hello there. Right now, most periscopes are used in submarines so that they can see the surface while they're underwater. Now this periscope, unlike my friends, has a much more hollow hole and much wider mirrors and same between the other. Most periscopes, like my friends I said, are used for people who are unable to see any spots or any main event, then they can use a periscope and see from a top. Isn't that just convenient? Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.